prepared. You want to discuss the kingdom of heaven. I want to, I want to form my daddy's thoughts. Kingdom of heaven. Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 and 10 first. We will some questions from the scriptures then. We take it as much as we can. Matthew chapter 6, 9 and 10. Therefore, pray in this way, our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. He says, Our Father, where? Who art in heaven? So wherever you see my Father, that is heaven. Wherever my Father resides, that is heaven. So if my Father is in me, heaven is in me. Remember Christ said, I will be in you and you will be in me. So that means the kingdom of heaven is not a place. The kingdom of heaven is the place where God resides at the time. That means if you allow God to reside in your home, your home becomes heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So wherever you see the praises of God, and God descends there because God inhabits in the place of his in the place of his people. That is heaven is come. Remember the Paul and Silas in the book of Father of Apostles. The Bible says they were singing with him in the night. And they all did as heart, remember? And there was a great earthquake that all doors, all doors were opened. Because they brought the presence of God. In heaven, there is fullness of joy. Because it's the presence of God. Heaven. Daniel chapter 7, verse 27. Daniel 7, 27. And the kingdom and rulership and the greatness of the kingdom under all the heavens shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all kingdoms shall serve and obey him. We will give all the kingdoms unto him. He will give all the kingdom unto him. So he will be the one to rule, and this will be everlasting, everlasting. Israel has told us that at the time the Romans were ruling the world, at, at, at the point it was the Arabians, like it, it became the, the, the Greek, and all and all, kingdom rises, kingdom falls. But there is a kingdom that will last forever. There are kings, there are kingdoms. There are mountains and there are thrones. Only Yeshua will reign forever. Then his kingdom there will be no end. His kingdom will rise up, kingdom will fall. Thrones will rise up, thrones will fall. Only the throne of God reigns forever. To so want to lead deep, deep to what this kingdom of heaven is all about. The last pastor for now, Luke 16, 16. Luke 16, 16 and 17. Luke 16, 16 and 17. The law and the prophet were until John. Since that time, the kingdom of God is proclaimed and everyone is pressing into it. And it is easier for the heaven and earth to pass than for one title or title of the law to fail. Is that from the time of John the Baptist, this kingdom of heaven is being proclaimed, and people are pressing into it. Where is this kingdom? For people to stay, for people to be pressing into it. Let me see this one. And everyone is pressing into it. Yes. Where is this kingdom? What is it all about? We proclaim what men are pressing into. And as much as God will allow us. We want to really deal with the gospel that we are preaching is about two things basically salvation of mankind and the kingdom of heaven. Everything we are preaching about the gospel are just two salvation to mankind and the kingdom. When you preach to them and they give their life to Christ, and from there you teach them about the kingdom of God. So anything that is excluding either or any of these 
is not gospel. And that part is very important that for us to understand what the kingdom of heaven is all about. The primary tool for kingdom advancement is called dominion. So when God gave dominion to man, he gave man an influence that will make man draw other men to this kingdom. We call it dominion. Dominion is when you have the capacity to have effects on the mindset and conviction of people. When you have capacity to have effect on the mindset and the community. Let me give us an example on the on, on Mount Carmel. When God said, ah, ah, for how long will that be confused about which God you will serve? You know what? Come, let us put the God that you will serve and the God that will fire. Did he force them did he force to bow down to the God? They only saw what happened. And what happened influenced their minds to say, ah, this God that will fire by fire, it shall be God. That is what we call dominion. It exercises what God had given up to man, called dominion. So the kingdom of heaven is expanded, is proclaimed via dominion. Dominion in the place of your work, in your ministry, in your home, in the marketplace, wherever you find yourself, is where you proclaim the kingdom of God via dominion. Now, look at that kingdom. Because uh, there have been a bit of confusion here and there, I'm trying to just start from the foundation. Looking at what we all know what heaven is, it's a very good to us. We are, we are done with that. Now, kingdom. There are several things that must mark a kingdom. We should be looking at and looking at the kingdom of heaven to be a number one. In a kingdom, there will, there will be a king. That's why they call it kingdom. That means the domain of a king. A place where a king has an influence is called kingdom. Kingdom is a compound of that's king's domain. Domain is influence. So when we say kingdom, a place where king is having an influence is called kingdom. Where somebody is ruling over you, where somebody is under an influence of someone. So a kingdom will have a king. And our book is about God is king. So in this kingdom, God is a supreme ruler. Number two, the kingdom of the territory, the place where his influence is felt. That is his domain, where his influence is felt. And what's the domain of our God? We and we move around and show our God to man. Number three. A kingdom will have subjects because they cannot be a king if there's no subject. And who are the subject? Us. That we are under the influence of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. People are not seeing Jesus, but they are seeing us and we represent him. So anything they want to know about Christ, they should look at us and have a good knowledge of it. Subjects. Number four, we say there is a king, there is a territory, there is there are subject, there must be a constitution. That is a covenant that binds the king and the people together. Constitution. And what is this constitution? Is this covenant that binds the king and the and the, and the subject together? Now, in this kingdom of heaven. There is nothing called democracy. Government of the people, by the people, for the people. That is democracy. It is the king that issues a decree. It is the king that exercises dominion. It is king's influence that we are all under. There is no democracy in this kingdom. There are laws, number five. Laws that we must live by. So if we are coming into this kingdom, we know our king, we know our territory, we know that we are the subject. There is a covenant that binds us together. You know why we are in this kingdom? Let's provide. There are laws. And those are the principles by which a Christian must live by. For example, sowing and reaping. For example, tithing. 
For example, with your first fruit. For example, obedience to your parent. For example, submission to a man and wife together. For example, union between man and his wife. Together there is forgiveness of sin. Being at peace with one another. Those are the principles that is in this, in this kingdom. That once you, you walk with that principle, you begin to manifest the kingdom in you. It is unfortunate that many people claim to be in the kingdom of God and they didn't even know one thing about the kingdom. Do not understand how the principle works. I will ask them, be taking our, 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 our money in their struggle to pay tithes because it's working for us. I think, Pastor, if you want to the money, I don't know about other kingdoms, but in this kingdom of heaven, if you pay your tithes, well done. And you don't work on the principle that is obtained in the kingdom, you will still be poor. And that is why we started from the basics. There are principles to live by. The diligent and the Bible says shall feed many. That's a principle. So if you want to feed many, what do you do? Be diligent. Ah. A student, seven years ago, we had a program here. And the lady came to say that she brought she brought she brought two pen, new pen, said, please pray for the pen so that I can pass my exam. I said, I'm not a man, I'm just a woman. I should pray for your pen. So if your if your brain is empty, what would the pen write? Go and fill your brain. They will not pray for your brain and then they are talking. In this kingdom, no room for laziness. Those are the principles. So that means, for you to benefit this kingdom of heaven, you must understand the principle that governs the entity you want to enjoy, and you follow it. Because in this kingdom, there are principles. Number six, there are codes of ethics. How things should be. How can, my like, father said something yesterday, I think they were to, to, to go to America and for, you know, for, for a conference. And one woman presented every document. She was denied. She said, Why? She said, You don't look like them. The same document that the woman was presenting, and we didn't then permit to enter the US. She presented, she said, No, 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 no. No. <coughs> they denied her. She said, why? The man said, you don't look like them. There's a way we behave in this kingdom. There's a way we dress in this kingdom. There's a way we speak in this kingdom. That you will say, I may not know your name, but you look like the Christians. We call it codes of ethics or code of conduct. It is found. And the last one, number seven, there are privileges. There are privileges. And it is King's favor that draws the privilege. That is why we will not cease from, from asking for asking for mercy and favor. It is to the degree that we the king allows it. I've heard it one before. You are down at highly favor. So that means favor has height. There are privileges that also find itself in this kingdom. For example, forgiveness of sin. For example, restitution. For example, restoration. For example, lifting. For example, health. For example, provisions. These are endless. Really, they are all privileges obtained in the kingdom. Mr. John is taking hundred dollars as a salary, and his expenditure for the whole month is ten dollars. I need to get it. Mr. John, take it 100. Let me use something like that. 100 rand as his salary per month. And everything he will spend for the whole month is 10 rand. Food, transport, everything is paid. That month was 10 rand. Sister Anita is taking 1,000 rand. And everything she spent for the whole month is 999. Who is wealthier? 
Why you want to keep living like Amen. <laughs> you are right. It means that John, because at the one end, the man has 30 land. Since I can only ask one another at the end of the day. So it is not about what you earn. It's about the blessing of God upon what you earn. Means that John is under a covenant. He's enjoying the privileges, sound health, favor, open heavens, open doors. Everything doesn't have to have to spend this money. Everything is just working for him. Because he understood that he has a territory and is working within the territory. He understood that he is a subject. So he is subject to the dictate of the king. He is working under the covenant. He understood the covenant. He is working under the principle that trusts in favor. Listen, if you don't understand the principle, you will suffer for nothing. Even the unbelievers know some principles that they are working by it. The commonest one is law of giving and receiving. The give is a law they give. And see, this law doesn't know whether you are present or not. If you obey it, it's not for you. Now imagine you, a citizen of the kingdom, obeying the law. Imagine. In this kingdom, we don't look for things. The things we are looking for is part of what the kingdom will give to you. You look unto he who is the king of the kingdom. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All other things shall be added unto you. Amen. I will skip the rest and just do text from my purpose in this day to pray. I believe my time is almost getting up. We talk about what he, what heaven is, what kingdom is, seven things that constitutes heavens, I mean kingdom. And we are prepared to work on these principles to be able to enjoy the privilege, the seventh point. The seventh point, rather. So we can enjoy what the privileges offered in this kingdom. Understand how things work and walk them. Amen. John chapter 3, verse 3. John 3, 3. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say unto you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the king of heaven. What are we drawing to? We started this on Thursday. I said, yeah, on Thursday. We started talking about heaven on Thursday. How Will you see the kingdom of heaven? You must be born again. Simple. Now, this is another principle that we are talking about in, 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 in the fifth point, I believe. Yeah, fifth point principles. Be born again. Because John 3 5, John 3 5 says, unless one is born of water and of spirit, he can't enter. Being born again may be born with water and of the spirit, the water, the word of God. That means to let the word of Christ dwell richly in you. And if the life the Bible says shall be on the law of the Lord, and upon the law it shall be the day and night, how can a man cleanse his way by taking heed to the word? The word of the Lord that I kept in my heart that I would not sin against you. For the word of the Lord is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Do not just hear the word and not do the receiving yourselves. You need the word. Man shall live not by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God in this kingdom. Bread is not the only means to get healthier. We need the word. Now you have been claimed through the word I have spoken to you, John 3. We need the word, the water, and must be claimed, but not by the spirit also, because flesh and blood will not enter the heavens. So that means it is not until you die, the heavens start here, because you are the spirit. You walk by the Spirit. 
you worship God by the Spirit, you believe by the Spirit. The kingdom. I used to believe science and math that in purpose is in Tibetan 120 and I died. Then I put no, it starts here. It starts here. By being in the spirit. Mark 10 15. Mark 10 15. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter into it. And give us pointers about the principles of this kingdom. To enter the kingdom of heaven will be a child. Well, I'm, I'm a good man and I have children. I will never be a child. He's telling you that. Go and study a child. One day, my little Indian called one of her mom and said, says, Sister Fabuli, Dad! She, she was like, Eh, no. Sister, ah, mommy! Oh, sister, ah, mommy! She was like, What is it? She said, Even I'm a female, what is it? Playing hard. And you could see the fact that she was confused. You guys are confusing me. What was I calling her now? So I took my cousin, come. You see me, I'm old. She is old. I'm saying that. You see, you are that. And she's, Oh, grandma, hair, and I'm talking. Simplicity. Teachability. Tender Being open. That's how it is. You can't enter the people of heaven with your mind delivering around you. So they are much more than black. A child is go straight if it's if it's to error, she's to error. She did like that she was she was to she was able to error. Not a man. So for not to enter this kingdom of heaven will be like a child. We are set the kingdom as simple. For example, thou shalt not lie. This is not ambiguous in that one. It didn't say tell that is said to no lie. Let your day be day, let your day be day. Huh? Mm. Number four, no more I'm going to six. Then we're gonna stop. So continue from another time. Matthew 13, 33. Matthew 13, 33. He told them another parable that the kingdom of heaven is like a leaven that the man took and hid in the three measures of flour till it was all level. It's like a yeast. That's a good word for yeast. He put yeast into flour and a small thing like this, flour began to swell. That means the kingdom of heaven is about influence. It's not about size. So that means with what you have, you can still draw the kingdom of heaven. Are you a teacher? Are you a trader? Are you a parent? Uh, are you a student? When I when I went to when I go to medical school, I one of my friends, she's already in the clinic. She said, Ah, she says, what are you doing? I said, Sir, Mom, he says, she says, you need to trust God to pass a medical school. I won't forget that word in the hurry. All the things that you tell you forget it. This one, you need to trust God to pass. So I prepared myself from the beginning. Father, not, not, not my brain. Like as simple as those words are, they are still holding to me till today. Trust God with all your heart. So you don't have to be more tiny to draw to drop it up and for it don't just say yeast. But because you don't want the yeast, is that small. And the effect is same. So everybody is important in this kingdom. Everybody. Our level differs, I agree, but the word is important. Imagine the uh, people that they also claim church, they do not claim. All the technicals, they, they, they decided to go on strike. And here's my voice now. What happens to me? You see that everybody is so, Now, another thing that I learned this, sir, I mind is this. There is no room for competition. In this kingdom, there is no room for competition. Let me, let me say the name. There is no space, there is no need for, for competition. We are meant to compete each other. For quite great a while, I've been behind the scene. Focus was on the choir and the just that are just the leading, right? Now, in the same service, where are the choirs of the seats listening to me? 
a while ago, I was somewhere listening to them. Everybody, your time will come. Your light will shine. The thing is this. While you are still in the shadow, the beauty you want the light to reveal to man, because light reveals, you start polishing it in the shadows. Start preparing yourself. Because either prepare your or not, your light will shine. But the beauty the life will reveal depends on your understanding about this kingdom. There is no room for competition. We compete each other. It's only in this kingdom, sass and mass, that the more the merrier. Acts 40.22. Acts 40.22. Strengthening the souls of disciples. Encouraging them to continue the faith and saying that through many tribulations we must enter. <laughs> the door into this kingdom is tribulation. Don't run away yet, it's fine, just relax. Why did he use this word tribulation? I want to enter the money and go to the family's house and I see three angry looking people. And the daddy said, I don't know who they come inside. Come inside, let me stay here. I will, I will bless you there, let me stay here. And God always asks, no, what do you call me visa? I'm thinking, let me stay there. Don't worry, you don't have a man's eye. So you are not telling me that I must pass through tribulation to attack you of heaven? Why would it not be? Because the moment you give your life to Jesus Christ, you will be enlisted as an arch enemy of the devil. He will fight you. Because he lost the battle on the cross of Calvary. And his decision is this Romans chapter 12, the chapter 12 of 13. He says, and the Bible says, and he turned back and made war with the rest of the offspring. Do that that right to Jesus, like that to Jesus Christ. I've paraphrased it. When they tried to capture Christ, he failed. He went after Mary, he failed the message to Jewish Jesus. So the moment of Jesus Christ, you are my Lord, you have declared the war in hell. All the things that you used to do, you do them no more. All the things that I feel like I should get angry and be so good. But I cannot do that again. Because conscience. Uh -uh. You used to when you were in the world, not now. The place you used to go. But sometimes that I used to, I was, when I was in school, I did the street of DJ. For a long time, I did some music. And I did like, I did the I did the I did the Don't you think those, those, those songs are not intimidating? If they are, music is a very dangerous spirit. Have you looked through Christians that is awful? We call it upbeat and begin to play the camera and play them. That's why most of our youth are in trouble because they are not exposed to quality Christian music. There are Christian music that you would do a day and dance and show it and still blessed. Amen. And the life they were they were being, they being taught as a day is total music and beautiful is good for so music has nothing and she it just no let me tell you one thing. Music is not just musical. Music is the only spirit that enters through your soul on him that on him that and that's why you need to be extra careful. The kingdom of God is a kingdom of influence. And another evidence is that's why the kingdom of the devil is copying the kingdom of God's principle by influencing people. Don't worry, she means Lodo. It's just one hand. Just do that thing. You that God, why do you not to be so true? You give me, give me, give me, give me your one hand. And people will kill some of the, of the team to be a lot of the people that are gambling. Check your Bible straight to hell. Straight to hell. No, no, it's not just gambling. It's a national. Okay. It's a national. Uh, uh, lo, what's the name? Lottery Company Incorporation. That is, is in Nigeria. Ah! 
les gâter. Ok, ok, tout le monde peut te donner des super bêtes, c'est vrai. Parce que moi, c'est devenu une petite 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 Matthew chapter, sorry, chapter 6. Matthew 6, 30 to 21. Matthew 6, 30 to 21. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where teeth break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where teeth do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. What are we giving a bad example of the kingdom of heaven from the scriptures? The kingdom of God deals with eternal value. The deeds of eternal value are obtained in this kingdom. What you do in this kingdom has eternal value. Because why, where you invest is where your heart will be. So that's what in this kingdom. You are encouraged to invest in this kingdom, invest in the way it works, invest in the norms, in the ethics, invest in the constitution. Put your mind into this kingdom. Carry this mentality. For quite a long while, for one of my girls, whenever she wants to watch a TV, TV program and they are, they are denying her, she won't shout. She will wait until the time that I'm passing by, maybe through the corridor, and she will scream. And she will, I won't tell you, tell you, tell you what I will tell you, tell you what I will tell And she will scream. Say, hey, what is it? Let me go to watch TV. Let me go to watch TV now. So, I'm just going to say, ah, until one day, if she didn't know I was passing, so I didn't do it. Let me see what you must be happening. She will, she will watch her own other, other program. So when it's time for their for their elder was to, to watch, she will she, 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 she say she wants to watch more. So they say, no, 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 no. We've already agreed that we'll watch your own time. That is like my time. She will not look at the corridor. She will not wait. Because I'm asking to just just say, ah, I caught you today. So this is what you are doing. So she, she understood what they call influence. I will not be able to have a father because I have daddy. I have a father. Daddy! TV! Amen. That is it. That is it. She carries a consciousness that whenever I call daddy, I hate what I want. The kingdom of heaven. I, I, I carry God with me whenever I go. With my friends. In my place of work. So that by the time I sit down, it's God sitting down on the chair. And because it is God's presence, there is fullness of joy. There is difference. Open heaven begins to manifest. And that means I begin to shine in the way I should shine. The kingdom of heaven is in you. It's about you. It is through you. It is to the will of God in your life. I pray the heavens begin to manifest in and through us just Can we bow down our heart?